Our association has been around since 1994. It's CSIA, Control System Integrators Association. And the way we have helped system integrators from the very beginning is to build better businesses. System integrators normally are very good when it comes to technology, but they underestimate or are overwhelmed with the challenges that are presented by management of their companies. So from the very beginning, we have had our best practices that system integrators can use to make their companies better companies. And that I consider to be the fundamental. You need to have a solid business to be able to be successful today and tomorrow. I think it's great. I really think that it's an opportunity for us to see and, and leverage what we have in our daily lives today with all the modern technology and devices reflected on the platform. So I think that for people, they should be able to understand the, the benefits, but now translate it to the manufacturing floor. I think that it creates an, a new opportunity and it creates opportunity to leverage much better the assets that you have, your production assets, your plants, everything through the use of technology. But um, we have throughout the year webinars where we provide the system integration focus on certain topics. Um, we also have initiatives like task forces or committees and it doesn't matter where you are in the world. We also have members including board members from Australia another board member is from Italy, and uh, another one from Colombia. So we have been pushing hard to have our association become much more global. But back to the stories of the other things that members benefit from is we have this huge community of system integrators that stays connected through our website. We have an open forum and system integrators can post questions there. We allow system integrators to meet and network and we encourage that big time through our, through, through, through our our conferences and that allows system integrators later, later on to have a reference to go back to. Our association is also supporting peer groups that are formed between the different members and they continue the spirit and they meet multiple times throughout the year. So it is a big offering that we have for our system integration members. I think we're in a very interesting time in the development of our industry. There's a lot of focus on smart manufacturing, Industry 4.0, and our terminology for how we achieve this is uh, to implement a connected enterprise. So taking our scalable, modular, multidisciplined architecture and all of our software and services to deliver a system that really adds value to our customers. Now obviously, to deliver this, um, we need partners. So it's very important that we have a strong ecosystem of systems integrators who have a good understanding of our customers, industries, their applications, and how to apply our technology so that they can drive some business benefits from our joint customers. What we need is uh, a range of partners who can add value to their architecture, who can add value to their uh, hardware and software platform by applying their domain knowledge, their skills and their expertise to the end user's requirements. So we need partners who are expert in a chosen industry and in chosen applications, so for food and beverage, for life sciences, oil and gas, water, waste, water. Customers need people to help them solve their business issues. We need partners who can understand our technology and apply them in a way that derive real business benefits for our end users. This is a, an area of ongoing development for us. I mean, we obviously need to have a selection of certified partners. We need then to equip them with the tools and the technology to allow them to deliver a good solution to our customers. Competency development is a big part of what we're doing with our partners. Events such as RA TechEd, uh, product updates for our webinars, lunch and learn sessions, uh, hot training. We need to make sure that our partners understand how to apply our technology in the most efficient way possible. And of course on the commercial side, we need to work with them to target customers, so in each particular country or market where we're working with an integrator, to do a market focused plan, identify industries, customers and applications that we can jointly pursue with them and then put together a good tactical action plan to go after those opportunities. I think there's a great opportunity for our solutions and services business to collaborate with our systems integrators. I mean in the EMEA region we're a market challenger, one of our big goals is to grow market share, to grow revenue. And if you look at the size of our market share via our solutions and services business and the potential marketplace, there's room for us to work in a very collaborative and open and transparent fashion with our systems integrators and make sure we offer the best in class solutions to our joint customers. 
We work with Rockwell Automation and their Encompass partners to um, deliver technical solutions um, that are asked of us. We work with our um, RCSI account manager and also his um, uh, Rockwell account managers for the for the water industry in developing both IDEC uh, employees and developing our customers' needs to deliver these solutions. Um, Rockwell Automation supports us very heavily with our training programs and we then pass this information on to um, to all of our supply chain and, and to our end users. Through regular operational technology meetings we along with Rockwell uh, account managers and also the product specialists are able to pass over the latest technologies, the information regarding the latest technologies to our customers and this ensures that um, all of our work is using the newest um, and the latest and greatest products rather than uh, installing all of the old equipment that used to occur in the past. As a system integrator for the, the water industry we've been very heavily involved in um, looking at the migration strategies for the, the, the water industry. Um, we've been involved in the migration predominantly from SLC PLCs, PLC5s, uh, other PLC manufacturers up to the Compact Logics and Control Logics platforms. And what we've found most useful is we've utilized the migration tools available to us both software and hardware um, and this has resulted in, in major savings in both um, development time, engineering time and installation time uh, when, when it comes to site. So that then has seen a, um, a reduction in the downtime of the process uh, and a much happier client. Uh, we've also looked at the network infrastructure and we've upgraded that and we've looked at the network security so all of this is looking at the connected enterprise. We, we also look to see what data that we can improve on to get from the plant floor to the management team um, and this has been uh, improved by uh, Ethernet connectivity for drives and instrumentation uh, through to the uh, PLCs and onto the site-based SCADA systems um, and then that information has been available at the management level.